हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी लुकिंग एट अनदर मार्क डाउन पार्सर लाइब्रेरी विच इज मार्क डॉट जी एस सो विल बी लुकिंग एट ए सिंपल एप्लीकेशन विच विल बी कन्वर्टेड मार्क डाउन इन टू एच टी एम एल एंड देन दैट एच टी एम एल बी कन्वर्टेड टू पी डी एफ सो इट्स ए ऑनलाइन कन्वर्टर सो हेयर यू कैन एक्चुअली पेस्ट द मार्क डाउन सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी हैव दिस सैम्पल मार्क डाउन हेयर सो आई विल सिंपली पेस्ट इट इन द टेक्सट एरिया एंड देन वी हैव ए बटन आउट देयर सो इफ आई क्लिक दिस बटन यू विल एक्चुअली सी द मार्क डाउन विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू पी डी एफ एंड फॉर डूइंग दिस पर्पज वी आर यूजिंग ए न्यू लाइब्रेरी विच आई फाउंड मार्क डॉट जी एस सो इट्स ए मार्क डाउन पार्सर एंड कंपाइलर ओपन सोर्स दिस इज देयर गेट अप रिपो एंड दिस इज देयर वेरी आई थिंक इट्स इज This this is their official website mark dot js dot org. It's a very popular parser library of Markdown. You can easily also install it globally inside the command line as well. This is a command. You can use also use it as a command line or oh, Node JS module. And it actually parses the Markdown and converts it into HTML. But it doesn't sanitize the output HTML. and uh, let me show you a very basic example and we will be using the cdn right here in order to use it directly in the browser so we will be using the cdn so we have this example right here uh, all the source code that i will use in this video is given in the description so first of all what i have done i included the cdn of mark.main.js and then we are using a library which is pdf make if you want to convert html to pdf this is a very simple library a client side pdf generation library in javascript so we are also using this library as well and also this package as well html to pdf make if you directly want to convert your html to pdf we use this package which is having 63000 downloads we will be using it as a cdn which actually does this process so now let's get started so now i will simply delete everything and start from scratch after including the cdns so first of all for making the interface we will be using the container class of bootstrap and here we'll be having a heading that is markdown to pdf app then we will having a form group class of bootstrap and here we'll be allowing the user to enter the markdown so we'll simply be telling the user enter markdown and here we will be having the text area and we'll be giving an id to it of markdown input and uh, also we need to give Uh, bootstrap class which is form control and rows i will give it as 10 so here the user will enter the markdown you will see it will look something like this and we also need a simple button to submit the form so we'll simply say that export to pdf we'll be giving an id to this button and a bootstrap class of btn btn parenty so it will look something like this and now in the javascript code so first of all we need to bind a on click listener to the button so we have given the button the id so we can target this in the javascript by using get element by id followed by the id that we have given and add event listener so when you click the button this callback function will execute now we need to get the markdown input which the user writes in the text area so we have given the id to the markdown input field so we can get the value by using dot value so after getting the markdown we can use the marked js parser library so we can simply say it actually contains a function which is parse this library and here you need to pass the markdown input as argument and then it will give you this uh, html content we can cross check here 
So we have a sample markdown file right here. If I copy this and paste it in the text area, click on this button, you will see in the console it actually gives you this uh, HTML right here. It parses all this markdown into HTML. So after you get this HTML, the job is really easy. You need to simply convert this HTML to PDF. And for that, we will be using that HTML to PDF make package that I already showed you. And it actually converts the HTML to PDF. And now we can download the PDF document by instantiating a document definition object and inside that content property will make it to the PDF content. And then for downloading the PDF document in PDF make library, there is a function which is create PDF. And here you pass your doc definition and then call the open function. So this will download the PDF document and if you refresh, paste your markdown, click on this button and now you can see that your markdown is successfully converted to the PDF document. So first of all, that markdown is first of all converted to HTML and then the HTML is converted to PDF using PDF make library. So we are essentially using three libraries in this one application. First for converting the markdown, we are using one package. The second package is actually converting that HTML to PDF. And the third one is actually generating the PDF library. So essentially three, three libraries are used in this. So we are used markdown parser, which is marked JS. So essentially this video is about this markdown parser library. So it's a very popular markdown parser and compiler which compiles your markdown into HTML. So also do check out my free media tools website guys, which contains thousands of free tools related to audio, video and image. And please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.